Are you looking to improve your dribbling skills in Rocket League? Dribbling is one of the most versatile mechanics that you can always improve on, no matter what your rank is. Hey, I'm Jack. In today's video, I'm going to share a guide to dribbling in Rocket League. I'll be breaking the video up into three parts. The fundamental components of a dribble, the types of dribbles, and training drills for each type of dribble. Let's get into it. In my opinion, I believe that there are three fundamental components that make up a dribble. The first is car control. The second is ball control. And the third is speed. Let's dig a little deeper into each of these fundamental components, starting off with car control. Car control is important for setting up a dribble in the first place. You need to know your car, and what I mean by that is the hitbox. The ball is going to bounce and react differently on each part of your car. You will learn this as you come to play the game more, and when in free play or training. An example is if your opponent has boomed the ball down the field and you've got the chance to catch it, you need the car control to ensure it's positioned correctly in order to catch it and take possession of the ball. Let's delve a little deeper into ball control now. With ball control, you need to be in control of the ball in order to dribble successfully. This goes hand in hand with car control too, and working out where the ball needs to be positioned on your car when turning, power sliding, and potentially flicking the ball. You won't have much luck pulling off a 45 degree flick if the ball is falling off the front of your car. The last fundamental component of a dribble is speed. While speed is an aspect of car control, speed directly affects the success of your dribble. If you're traveling too slow, you'll likely have the ball drop off your car, whereas if you're traveling like speed racer, you'll leave the ball behind behind you and free for your opponent to score. I believe your car control, ball control, and controlling your speed all can be improved on if you practice your dribbling. They are all equally important when it comes to successful dribbles. Okay, so we've learned about the fundamentals to a successful dribble. Now, what are the types of dribbles? I'll first start this section by saying there are many variations of dribbles. However, I'm gonna focus on three in particular. Dribbling with the ball on top of your car, the bounce dribble, and air dribbles. I'm now going to go into a little bit more detail about each of these types of dribbles. I'll start off with an overview of the dribble and then break it down into three separate steps. First up on the list is dribbling with the ball on your car. And as the name suggests, it's dribbling with the ball off the ground and on your car, whether that's towards the front of your car or towards the back. The main purpose of dribbling the ball on your car is to execute a flick, or if you're down by one goal with zero seconds left on the clock and trying to get it into your opponent's goal. Now, let's break down this dribble. Step one is getting the ball on top of your car. The easiest way I find to get the ball on top of my car is to essentially cradle the ball. And what I mean by cradling the ball is essentially we want to drive into the ball. Now, with the appropriate speed and the appropriate boost control, we can get to a point where if we speed it up a little, we'll be able to get it up onto the top of our cars. This is exactly what we want. I'll do this again. We wanna drive right up to the side and we wanna use our speed and our boost to help us get the ball on top of our car like this. As I also just showed you, you actually don't need to use your boost at all. You can actually do it all, if I get the ball just off my car here, with your acceleration. So you actually do not need any boost. And now I wish I had my controller overlay up to show you what I mean. But yes, this is all being done just by feathering my throttle. Step two is now control. So once you have the ball positioned on your car, you want to make sure that you're feathering your accelerator and using the boost to keep the ball on top of your car. I'll also go through some training drills that you can use to practice getting the control down with having the ball on top of your car. Step number three is now making your play. You may want to turn it into an air dribble like that, or you may want to do a 45 degree flick over your opponent. Now I'll get into some training drills with dribbling with the ball on top of your car. The first one is to actually keep the ball on top of your car for as long as possible. Add in some turns and some weaves to try and keep the ball on top of your car and as in control as possible. Start to include boost as well, so you're picking it up at speed. It can get quite challenging at times. And as you progress further, starting to add some power slides into it, so you really know how you can control the ball. Drill number two is to pop the ball and catch it. You may not always get the time to cradle the ball and get it on top of your car in a game. So a good way to learn is to pop the ball up and catch it. I also like to pop the ball up from different sides of my car too, so I'm comfortable on both the left side and the right side of my car. Drill number three is to use the basic dribbling skills training pack by Floating Mongoose. This pack is a perfect way to get the ball on top of your car and learn to control it. It also puts you in a variety of different situations like this one where I had to catch the ball and dribble it to the goal.
I'll include the training pack in the description. The next dribble we have on the list is bounce dribbling. Bounce dribbles are commonly used to keep distance from your opponent. Your opponent has to second guess as to what shot you are actually going to take with a bounce dribble. They can be quite unpredictable at times. Step one is getting the ball to bounce. You want to create some space between you and the ball to hit it at an angle. You also want to make sure that you're hitting the ball with the side of your car. This will allow you to utilize a variety of angles when you choose to hit the ball. As you can see here, feathering your boost is an important part to getting the ball to bounce correctly. Step number two is controlling the ball when it is bounced. Focus on controlled, light touches on the ball. We don't want to give away possession here. It's also important to drive through the ball. And what I mean by this is you actually want your car to cross underneath the ball when performing a bounce dribble. As you can see in this demonstration here, my car actually isn't traveling underneath the ball. This makes you look quite predictable to your opponents, which can lead to an easy counter attack. Step number three is making your next play. Finally, it's choosing when to make your shot or next play. You have a couple of shot options here too. You can either hook shot it with no flip or can choose to utilize your flip for a power shot. Okay, so now you have the basics of what it takes to set up a bounce dribble. Now, Let's get into some training drills. Training drill number one is chipping the ball to set up the bounce dribble. I like to start off this drill with chipping the ball on one side of my car, then swapping over to the other. After bounce dribbling on each side of my car, I'll then add in both to go off my right side and the left side of my car. Now, if you're like me, you'll likely make a lot of mistakes with even trying to get control of the ball. This drill is really helpful for improving that. Also, be sure to look out for your boost control too. Drill number two is bob and weaves. Now, similar to training drill number one, you still wanna be chipping the ball up. However, to get into the habit of driving through the ball, you wanna make sure that your car goes underneath the ball. This is where the bob and weaves drill becomes really effective. You can even see this in my gameplay now that bounce dribbles are definitely something I too need to improve on. Training Drill 3 is a custom training pack to help you with bounce dribbles by air charged. With this training pack, you may need to wait a few times for the ball to bounce before you set up the bounce dribble. Remember to focus on soft touches with the side of your car and your boost control before executing the shot. The third dribble and arguably the most satisfying is the air dribble. Air dribbles become more and more common as you progress up the ranks in Rocket League and are an effective way at scoring against really good opponents. Two key parts to highlight with an air dribble are the importance of keeping the right contact on the ball as well as the appropriate boost control too. The first step here is controlling the ball up the wall. It's important to not be going too fast or too slow. So it really comes down to focusing on feathering your boost and having the right amount of acceleration in order to get the ball up the wall. Now, you don't want to be boosting the entire way up, causing the ball to hit the ceiling though. You also want to create a little bit of distance between you and the ball before hitting it up the wall, like this. That way you can meet the ball again and start the air dribble. Step number two is aerialing off the wall. Now, I like to leave the ball where it is, drive up the wall and practice aerialing and air rolling off the wall. This helps you get in the habit of setting up your car correctly for the air dribble. I next start to practice aerialing off the wall with the ball. I don't focus on getting multiple touches. I just work on making sure that I can get the ball and my car off the wall effectively. Step three is controlling the dribble. This is where boost control and where you're hitting the ball become really important. You wanna be using the boost to guide the ball into your opposition's goal. And you wanna make sure you're hitting underneath the ball to ensure it stays in the air. Okay, so that was a very brief overview of how to set up an air dribble. Now. Let's get into some training drills. The first one is simply controlling the ball up the wall. The key parts here are to ensure that you create some distance between you and the ball. A quick break check is fine here. It's also important to not have the ball hit the roof too. Really concentrate on your boost usage and your acceleration when hitting the ball. Drill number two is aerialing off the wall without the ball and then next with the ball. This helps you practice air rolling your car into the correct position for an air dribble. When practicing with the ball, you want to be making sure you're hitting underneath it to make sure it gets up into the air. Drill number three is using the custom training pack Wall to Air Dribble by IP Joker. This pack is particularly useful with helping you aerial off the wall correctly. 
Now, you don't need to add silly air rolls and twists like I'm doing here. The main points I want you to focus on is making sure you're hitting underneath the ball and appropriately feathering your boost to ensure the ball gets into the net. So there we have it. This is my quick little guide on how you can improve your three types of dribbling. That is dribbling the ball on top of your car, bounce dribbling and air dribbling. I know this probably isn't the most extensive dribbling guide out there, but I hope this can help you improve your dribbling skills in Rocket League. I'm Jack and I'll see you next time. Catch ya.